Okay, good night. Good night. Have a good night. 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 Good now, AJ Owens, you know, she had issues last week, you know, with her neighbors, Miss Susan Louise, that were uh, aggressive with her kids. You know, so it continued on up until her death. You know, uh, she was defending her children. You know, so this been going on, you know, last week. You know, and so the neighbor was still aggressive with her children where she had to knock on her door to find out why she keep being aggressive with her kids, you know, so the neighbor Miss Susan Louise, you know, she still was heated up, you know, um, with AJ on um, kids, you know, so AJ knocked on her door, you know, and we believe that she knew she was at her door knocking, you know, so the neighbor then shot her through her door, you know, right in front of her son. You know and killed his mom you know but it took it took the police four days after the shoot you know to come to her home and arrest her you know so her excuse was she had fear you know and they charged her with manslaughter by your own two counts of uh, negligence battery and she had a soft weapon and she shot her through the door and her behavior was fear. You know, uh, she behind her door. You, you know, she behind her door, and she said she had fear, and shot through the door when, when um, she knew she was aggressive to, to her child, and she ran in. She went inside. So Miss AJ went to her door to knock to find out what is going on, and she wound up and shot the lady through her door. You know, so master, you know, kill her with an intent, but without premeditation. Kill without a thought. You know, do we see that she had a thought and she intended, you know, to shoot? Because, see, this been going on since last week. It didn't just start it that day of her death. You know, so she, uh, um, she did not, she, she did have a intent. And she did have premeditation on um, grabbing her gun to shoot through the door, you know. So she just was aggressive, you know, with the um, with the lady child, you know. And she went inside. So that's why I said she knew. She probably knew she was that was the woman at her door knocking, you know. So she grabbed her rifle, you know, because she knew who was knocking at her door and shot her to her door, you know, so her behavior, you know, was, her behavior was not in fear, you know, but intent on shooting Miss AJ to her door, you know, so she killed Miss AJ right in front of her child, and that's a horrible thing for a child to have to witness, you know, and she changed. And she was charged with manslaughter. Manslaughter is killing with an intent, but without premeditation. But we see that was heated up since last week. You know, so when Miss AJ knocked on her door, she knew who was at her door. So she grabbed her rifle, you know, to intend on shooting up through the door. You know, so she would charge her master, but the family deserved justified justice. You know, so uh, so her master, you know, I request that it be changed to murder. You know, because this man he done since last week, and she dis um this this hit this this something to her child, where the child had to come home to his mama, where she had to go defend her child and knock on the woman's door. So she knew. She knew who was at her door. She attempted on grabbing the rifle 
and shooting her through the door. So um, I request that her master be changed to murder. Okay, so I have another, I have a horrible story here. Horrible condition, you know, untreated, you know, in Alabama prison. You know, so the video has shown, when I saw the video, you know, the inmate of uh, Alabama prison who are suffering, you know, from medical condition that is going on in their jail cell. You know, so this horrible condition that I see, their skin turn white, you know, and the inmate that was in Alabama prison is not getting proper help they need. It's, it's a couple of them showing their skin on TV and they're not getting the proper help that they, they need. You know, so the problem with Alabama prison, you know, their prison have a majority rate more than twice the nation average. You know, so this been going on for a while. You know, the inmate getting sick like this here. Um, I mean, not really, yeah. Pretty much getting sick. They had some of them die, you know, and have this kind of skin disease, you know, from being in that prison. You know, so the people have in Alabama custody have had among the highest COVID death rate across, across the state of, of in their prison. You know, they have the high rate. You know, you know, you know, when COVID had first hit, you know, so many people was in prison um, getting it. You know, so the crisis has provoked multiple United States Department of Justice investigation. You know, so the family had protests, you know, March the 7th of this year. You know, remembrance of 300 people who have died in Alabama prison. So this has been going on for a while. You know, so it needs to be taken care of. It, it needs investigation to find out why is they getting sick, why is their skin is turning color, and why are they are dying. You know, so these things need to take a look at. You need to be investigated, you know. So that are the condition in Alabama. You no know, prison being a tree. You know, so that were COVID-19, you know, dead in Alabama prison. You know, so we see the prices need to be investigated. You know, um, all the inmates, you know, they're affected in Alabama prison. You know, um, I request that they get the um, medical attention they deserve. You know, because they, not only the skin is turning colors, you know, they get sick and most of them die. You know, I just, I just read, um, we had 300. You know, um, March, March the 7th of this year. You know, so that's too many people being affected. Whatever it is that they are um, catching in the prison cell. You know, so now you, you had COVID death in prison. Now, in, um, so, they had COVID in the prison. But we don't know. Is it has been cleaned out there? You know, if, if the wall and everything, you know, it has to be cleaned out. You know, for this has been going on for a while. You know, and people get sick and, and the skin turn the color and, it, and some of them is not. So it really needs to be checked out. You know, so I request for investigation, you know, to find out and find out why they are breaking out in Alabama prison you know so and I also request that they are to be moved to another location you know due to the horrible condition you know because if it needs to be cleaned out you know you have to do at least do half of the prison at once at you know in section you know to have to be moved at another location until you know the prison get cleaned out there you know because so you have COVID 19 and it was dying from that and it has not been wiped down and clean you know we're gonna have all kind of stuff going on you know so we you're gonna have to do section by section you're gonna have to remove these people out of the prison and put them in another location until the section is clean out there you know you have to rest investigate to find out why they get sick 
why is this skin is turning color and why they are dying in the jail cell in Alabama? You know, so so um uh, so we talked about justified justice. You know, the family won't justify justice, you know, because she was charged with manslaughter. You know, she was charged with manslaughter. Manslaughter is killing with an intent, but without premeditation. You know, uh, and we see that she intent on grabbing her rifle. She knew who was at that door, you know, and she did premeditate on killing, shooting through that door. You know, so she knew who was at that door. They've been heated up since the last week. And this was being aggressive to the, the little boy outside, and then she went inside. So she knew who was at the door. She intent on grabbing the rifle and shooting the mother right in front of her son. You know, so she would charge the man, sir. And the family won't uh, justify justice. You know, because it's, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't no without pre, uh, pre, uh, premeditation. You know, she intent on um, grabbing to wipe the issue to, to the door. You know, so I request that manslaughter, you know, be changed to murder. You know, so we just talk about this horrible disease of where it is that turning their skin white, a lot of them getting so sick and most of them is dying. You know, but they're not getting medical treatment at all. You know, they're not even trying to look at this situation and, and trying to take care of it. You know, so they just got them sitting in there just constantly getting sick. You know, I understand that they cry, but they just still don't have to be treated the way they're being treated in these jail cells. You know, so um, I request, you know, that they do section by section, you know, and, and relocate them somewhere else until them jail cells get cleaned out thoroughly. Because they say they had COVID there. You know, and a lot of them die with the COVID, but has the jail cell been cleaned out early? You know, so you have to, you're going to have to do section by section. You know, you got to investigate and find out why uh, these conditions are happening. You know, so that's all the news I have for you on tonight. Y'all have a blessed and safe night, and I'll see you on the next video.